half functional. It thinks that removing things that have been there from the beginning, like the start bar, is a good idea because they're old and outdated. And when you upgrade an exoskin, it starts to take control of your life. This episode has an ending that would make you really curious as to how a third Raggedy Android episode would go across. God only knows what problems they're going to make for Windows 9. Well, let me refresh your memory. Destroy Samurai Jack! it all to himself, so he disguises it as his cousin, Candace. Then during a dance scene, he ends up Authorities dress Fergie up as Hannibal Lecter and put him on trial for cannibalism. <laughs> 
Just the fact that someone put the concept of cannibalism in a kid's show and went so far as to put him on trial for it, that's kind of disturbing. Not to mention that he actually thinks that being selfish is worse than being convicted of cannibalism. I don't see why not, since cannibals are apparently shot from the moon that's loaded with candy. Seriously, what the fuck? Wait, serious finale? What? <laughs> a few papers with his picture on it. <laughs> At least I'm rid of that fish! Besides The Simpsons, Family Guy, and Spongebob. One that comes to mind is Dexter's Lab. After it was arbitrarily extended past its prime, it was given a new art style that fell right into the uncanny valley. On top of that, the types of episodes got interesting. In the episode, Jeepers Creepers, Where is Peepers, an anime-style villain kidnaps a dog creature, and for most of the episode turns him inside out in a horrifying, grotesque way. <laughs> Or animals! Or guys! I'd better recheck our bearings. <laughs> Hold on a second. We're not on the Cook Islands. According to this map, the island we're on doesn't even exist. So the odds of having them all are extremely slim. An uncharted island. Who would have thought? We'll have to inform the Foundation. But the Cook Islands are just 50 miles southeast. I'm so Why that I was delighted to get right into 
let this one speak for itself. Samurai Jack fights zombies all night, and since they're pretty much infinite, they begin to slowly whittle him down. Not to mention, there's the final showdown where he's fighting his own sword, and the feeling of helplessness is really instilled in this episode. What is that? <laughs> you got a tapeworm, buddy. Must have been that raw burger you ate. A tapeworm? I had a tapeworm! <gasps> More zombies. This time, instead of fighting them in the graveyard, we get to see a full outbreak take place. Well, here's a fight for the eyes. out 